Happy Thursday, Jays. I'm Olivia Buck. And I'm Drew Higgins. Today we'll start off the broadcast with a look at this week's weather with Hannah Sanders and a sports report from Ryan Stiff. All of that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. Now we're going to head it on over to Josie Wilkerson with Throwback Thursday. Welcome to Throwback Thursday Jays. On this day in 1904, Henry Ford set a land speed record of 91.37 miles per hour on the frozen surface of Michigan's Lake St. Clair. His record was unfortunately broken a month later, but the publicity surrounding Henry's record helped showcase the Ford Motor Company. Also on this day in 2010, a magnitude 7 earthquake devastates the nation of Haiti. This was the strongest earthquake to hit Haiti in over 200 years. It left over 200,000 people dead and some 895,000 homeless. But on a lighter note, the first female senator was elected on this day in 1932. Ophelia Carraway, a Democrat from Arkansas, was not only elected once into the U.S. Senate, but was re-elected in 1938 and was appointed to the Federal Employees' Compensation Commission by President Franklin Roosevelt in 1944. That's all I have for today. Back to the front desk. Thank you so much, Josie. On February 1st, the Wednesday evening of Court Warming Week, the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior classes will all compete in a volleyball tournament to raise money for L LHS Special Olympic athletes. There is no experience or talent required, and the cost to play is $15. This includes a donation as well as a team t-shirt. If you would like to play, please complete the form and pay your $15 to Mrs. Crawford in the guidance office by next Friday, January 13th. If you choose not to play, you can still watch the competition in the new field house. Tickets will be for $5 and all proceeds will go to Special Olympics. In other news, you may have noticed a new announcement popping up on your computer. We're going to throw it over to Danny Johnson, who is with Ms. Riedel and Ms. Anderson, to tell us more about it. I'm Danny Johnson, here with Liberty's High School's librarians. Mrs. Anderson. Mrs. Riedel. And we're kind of here to just clear up all the confusion with the new printing programs. So can you tell us what this new program is anyway? Um, well, it's called Paper Cut, and really it's just a management system to make the flow better and to cut down on wasted paper. And can you tell us how exactly to use this new printing program? You really print like you normally would. It's just going to ask you to log in once on your computer, and then when you come in here, you're going to log in and just confirm that you actually want to print. Do you think it helps the entire just printing flow altogether? Um, yeah, it does. Definitely helps with not wasting paper in case you print something twice or three times. And can you clear up any confusion with this um, $10 credit printing paper kind of deal? There's no $10. Um, in order to make the software work, they had to put a dollar amount in there. But nobody has $10. Nobody owes $10. Um, there's no printing limit. And because of that confusion, technology fixed it. So that shouldn't pop up um, in the corner of kids' screens anymore. Um, I liked it. It was a lot like last year. And was it confusing in any way? Did you have any problems? Um, no, you just log in off of the computer right next to the printer and confirm your printing. I think the thing that students should know is that it's a good thing. It's going to speed up your print jobs, and once everybody learns the system, you're going to find that everything will just run more smoothly. Thank you, Danny. Now let's talk about weather. Hannah Sanders, what do you have for us today? I have actually a lot in store for you, Olivia. Today we'll have a high of 30 and a low of 19 with some sun in the afternoon and 10 mile per hour winds that should make the temperatures feel a little bit colder. Make sure to enjoy that sun because tomorrow all the way through Monday will be completely cloudy and won't have any break from those clouds until Tuesday afternoon. The temperatures tomorrow will be a high of 28 and a low of 24 with even higher winds than today. Friday night we'll start to see some freezing drizzle we've been talking about all week so if you're planning on going anywhere make sure to be careful on those roads. Saturday we'll have a high of 32 and a low of 20 with an increase in the amount of freezing rain, which will be coming down almost all day. Sunday will have a high of 35 and oddly a low of 35. So while we have a 100% chance of rain all day on Sunday, there is a small possibility of more ice forming. Monday will only have a 20% chance of rain and the same high temperatures we saw on Wednesday, so there shouldn't be any chance of the roads getting any worse. While the system has been changing all week, we'll stay updated on the storm and what this weekend will look like for Liberty. That's all I have for today. Back to Olivia and Drew at the front desk. Thanks so much, Hannah. You know, Olivia, this weekend is the NFL playoffs, and our Chiefs are actually in it. So let's throw it over to sports reporter Ryan Stiff to tell us a little bit more about that. Thanks, Drew. What's up, Jays? This Saturday and Sunday is the second round of the NFL playoffs. Saturday, the Seattle Seahawks play the Atlanta Falcons, and the Houston Texans play the New England Patriots. On Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs play the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Green Bay Packers play the Dallas Cowboys. You can watch these games on Fox, CBS, and NBC. Now let's head over to Jackson Ogden interviewing Spencer Hollowell on the Chiefs playoffs one. 
I'm here with Chiefs fan Spencer Hollowell. Spencer, how did you become a Chiefs fan? Well, I'm a Chiefs fan because I live in Kansas City and uh, my dad has season tickets, so we go to all the games. So that's why I'm a Chiefs fan. So they have a playoff game this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Are you planning on going to that as well? Yes, I'm going to that. How do you think the Chiefs season has gone so far? Um, the season has been pretty good, obviously, um, since we beat our, our division rivals both times in both games. And uh, I don't know, Tyreek Hill has been a real difference maker, and Marcus Peters is good as always. So I don't know, it's been a good season. Sounds good. Back to the front desk. Thank you, Jackson. Now we ask that everyone please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all we have for today. For Hannah Sanders, Ryan Stiff, Olivia Book, Josie Wilkerson, and all of our amazing production crew, I'm Drew Higgins. Have a great day, Jays.